ducks today. Jonah. Jonah. Then one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Instead of a single, you might even get two. What's the range of your products, Jonah? So we here today. We carry a lot of millets. Uh, but otherwise, what we do is we source we source a lot of uh, local local farm products from different farmers here in Goa. And uh, the idea is that nothing is packaged, so we keep everything loose, so that you can bring your own container. And then that way we eco friendly. Yes, exactly. So it's as sustainable as possible. And so we do things like from different types of indigenous rice of Goa, different kind of grains like kulit, alsane, chauli, different millets, uh, different local spices. We work with self help groups. You have enough information to write a book now <laughs> because you I mean, know you know who are the suppliers I'm learning, I'm learning on the go yeah like we, we started this venture around 3 4 years ago and definitely has been a huge learning curve for all of us your your vehicle is called eco postro zero postro zero postro yeah and it will eco postro go anywhere was the first name of the company it changed after covid Obviously, you're going to see and it will go anywhere. Plant, no it, invited, if invited, uh, we normally do not go only so, within okay. Bardesh because it uh, it's an uh, electric vehicle, so we don't have a lot of kilometers. Spikes, it does around 80 90 kilometers. What, flower, is, what is the toughest challenge one, to, to market one, these products? Is it that people don't appreciate, or they are looking at price only, or, or they are not aware of what is the range, or what is the challenge? Or the, the scattered nature of Goa? No, I think Goa, though it's a very small state, it's very it's very uh, sparsely populated. No, things are very scattered all over the place, and uh, so sometimes we do have to travel long distances to pick up very small quantities. Okay. So that definitely is a challenge. Okay. okay. Yeah. But otherwise, you no. Know, I, I think awareness is growing. Many people are looking for local, seasonal, regional, organic, healthy. So uh, there is definitely demand for these products. And what we try to do is we sure. we like to offer the farmers a platform. So that they can sell these products. Ma'am, uh, <coughs> they know your brand also. I don't know. Yeah, you they know our brand now. Slowly, slowly, we yeah. because we, we keep going back to the same farmers, so they so yeah. they are happy every time we go and back. And the buyers also you buy. Buyers, buyers also. Oh, yeah, so they are. They are yes, getting to know the brand, so so the quality is is consistent. I would like to are say. Are any products dying out or not being grown yeah, okay. anymore? You know, we we source a indigenous uh, rice of Goa called kurkut, uh, which initially like a few hundred years ago there were many farmers growing that. Now most of the farmers are growing, growing all the hybrid varieties like Jaya Jyoti. These are all hybrid varieties. Yeah. Uh, around two years ago, we found a farmer in the south who is growing kurkut, and this year he is growing even less and even less. It's completely dying out. There is no indigenous rice. We have another one called Valai. There is only one farmer now in the north in Perne who is growing it. Nobody is growing Valai. So all these indigenous varieties are dying out. Norman Dantas has done a good article on this on the indigenous rice varieties in Goa today about 25-30 years back. You know. Yeah. Who? Norman. Norman Dantas. Norman. Norman. Yeah. 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 Yes. So I'm that not, article was there. I have not been able to trace it, but wow. we are losing out on the information also. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, any 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 uh, areas which are more eco sensitive than others in Goa? Are the urban areas more eco sensitive? Ironically yes, enough, because they feel the loss. That's a very good question. I think uh, the urban areas may be eco sensitive. Uh, maybe not. I think around the. Coastal belt, unfortunately, I think we have lost a lot of the Amazon has it diversity. Yeah, diversity over here. But then, if, if we just start traveling a little bit more towards the interiors yeah. over there, it's still very, very diverse. Uh, we just hope that uh, we realize that we should not follow what's happened here over there, so we can still preserve a lot of that. Um, but yeah, like in Panjim and all that, we, like we do work with with the farmers of Taligaon, so they are very, very uh, aware of, of the fact that. There are only these few fields left, and yeah. hopefully they will preserve them as much as possible. Your name and your contacts? Yeah, Jonah is my name. Jonah Fernandez. Yeah, Jonah Fernandez. Uh, contact number? Yeah. Nine six three seven zero five five six eight nine. Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Zero postro. Zero postro. Z D R O. Z D R O P O S R O. Thank you and all the best. Thank Lovely you. job.